Welcome to Tech Info with Narsim Ha channel. Don't skip the video see to the end and like share comment and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get my latest video notification. In this video we are going to discuss how to analyze a simply supported dream using stat pro. So for that first of all you have to install the stat pro software. So if you not see how to install the Stat Pro software, you can visit my channel and you can see the Stat Pro software download. And also I will give a link in the description. You can go and see that. So after downloading the software, open the software. You can see this page like this here. Then after that, we have to go to the new project. After going to the new project, you have to assume the name here. As it's your wish, you can give any name here. And after that, we have to give location, give the location here. And after that, we have to give uh, units here. First, length units. Length units is in only in meters as Indian standards. Enforced units is also in kilonewtons as for Indian standards. Then after press next. Then after finish. Then the page will be opened like this. A note page will be snap note page will open so delete it so for making a beam first of all we have to add a note for that just press and zero here and you can see a point here so after that for here to highlight this point first of all we can see some of the cursors here note cursor and beam cursor so you can see the alpha I pressed note cursor we can this his, this node is highlighted like this so after pressing escape button it will be closed so then after we have to give another value in x direction it means nothing but the distance of uh, one beam so I am assuming as a 5 meter press enter you can see the two nodes here so we will see in the sum of the views here you can see view from plus z, view from minus z, view from minus x, view from plus x, view from plus y, view from minus y and isometric view so view from plus z we can see it came into straight position so we have to make a beam for that we have to use this command add beam from starting of first node to the ending of first node we will so you can see the beam is created now so we have to add some of the main items here like uh, support reactions so you can see here after going to the general I am pressing the support so first of all we have to create a support so I am using here as a pen support here are different supports are available here you can see I am just using the pen support so I add so after pressing here then use the cursor you can see here like this and assign to selected nodes assign ok I have assigned the pin load here you can see I have added the support after adding the support we have to go for the applying of load after applying a load load case details add so here I am applying a point load so point load add close up by clicking the point load and add so here the point member load going to member load we can see where is the first of all with the point load point load is nothing but the concentrated force I am assuming as a minus 40 and defining the global y and close so here there is a question mark here because we have did, we didn't add a load in this beam as you can see here so click here and highlight the beam using the cursor and assign to the selected beam Yes, you can see a point load for this for you assuming the scale value to see clarity we can use this load up load button command here just pressing you can see a small load has been applied in the beam this gutter is a 5 meter beam and the point load is acting of minus 40 so after creating this we have to define here so for define we have to go to the property and define and properties uh, I'm assuming the rectangular of uh, ZD is uh, 0 0.23 and YD is 0 
I'm using the concrete so add close then after you have to highlight the beam here like this and assign to selected beams yes so it's been created now we are ready for the analyze so go to the command button analysis perform analysis no print okay after that we have to go for the analysis so you can control F I also we can enter press here run analysis save so it run is analyzing so there is a no error and showing one warning and after that there is no first of all we have to see here there should be there should be no error here then after go to the post processing mode for seeing bending movement under shear force diagrams go to range and ok you can see the beam here for seeing the bending movement and other we can see here the horizontal maximum all related to displacement and the maximum related to displacements and for seeing the bending movement diagrams go for beam here you can see the bending movement diagram for the simply supported beam with the point load you can see you can zoom it by using the mouse or by clicking by pressing the control button also we can zoom it you can see clarity then here for the maximum bending moment is indices so maximum axial force maximum bending moment is minus 50 and the maximum shear force is minus 20 so for seeing the other for seeing the shear force first of all you have to close the bending moment diagram from Z and also we can see bending moment first of all you have to see shear force so you can see the shear force is like this for seeing the values we have to go for the results and the view value beam results so we have to click here maximum midpoint also annotate close we can see the values here the maximum values maximum is 20 kilo newton and middle 20 kilo newton and you can see here So here also a 20 kN load and also we can see you can close this by pressing here so then after we can also see the torsion and also there is a bigger options here for bending moment in Z direction you can see the values here minus 50 downwards why because our beam our point load is acting in downward direction due to the downward force it going down so you can see the downward movement is minus 50 kilonewton meter and the ends for the simply supported beam is zero as we all know about that and also we have also seen the values here maximum axial force maximum bending movement maximum shear force like this we can see and also the stresses are like this here maximum stresses and the profile stresses so this is how we analyze a beam simply supported beam if you really like the video please subscribe to my channel and press bell icon to get my latest video notifications i will make so many good videos for you please subscribe my channel thank you thank you please like and share the video and subscribe my channel